Danny, welcome to Port Vale. It's been, I think it's fair to say, a long time coming. You've been in and around the club for a couple of months now. How does it feel that you finally got it across the line? Oh, I'm buzzing. Um, obviously, come here for about six weeks now, been on trial and stuff, and been waiting for a game behind closed doors. And finally, it came and uh, showed obviously what I can do and impressed the gaffer and the staff. And I'm glad they've obviously come to a decision to, to take me on. And yeah, I can't wait to be playing for this club in front of the fans as well. What was it about Port Vale that kind of kept you here? For, for such a long time, hoping for this deal to, to come off? Because I know I, I, because I know how much of a big club it really is. You know, obviously, League Two, I don't think it's the league that it should be in. It should be higher up. Uh, big history behind it. Obviously, one of the old clubs in the Football League and stuff. And obviously, the gaffer, I knew the assistant, literally day one, met the lads and stuff. And everyone was, was spot on with me. So, obviously, that, that, that just made it at home for me. And since that, there's been impressing in training. Obviously, coming in two and a half months, from not doing anything to, to the lads who were already three a month into pre-season. It's, it, it, it is tough to keep up with the lads, but like I said, they made it more than welcome for me to come. And like I say, it's, I've, I've enjoyed every minute and glad to get it over the line now. Earlier on, the gaffer mentioned that because you have been in and around the club, you're not kind of joining the club unfit. You've been going through the same fitness regimes mm. as everybody else. You can almost hit the ground running. Is that important for you for, for, for going forward? Definitely, yeah. I think obviously the main thing in, in, in the off-season is when you're doing obviously your individual bits and things like that, it's nothing compares to what you do on the training pitch. When you with like obviously with a group of lads and stuff like that, playing at a certain tempo, uh, learning how like uh, the way the team plays and stuff, and getting to know people and everything. It's just obviously being being fit, especially in the formation the gaffer wants to play. You're really up and down that wing, so it's uh, so yeah, it's a tough ask. But then again, it's one I'm willing to take, willing to take on. You mentioned the first time you kind of came to the club and met everybody was when we went to the training camp. Mm. Um, was that a daunting experience? Because obviously the, the lads were together, they knew what to expect. And then next thing they know is that you're kind of joining in with, with training, you're on the team coach. What was that like from your point of view? Yeah, it was obviously strange because it's the first time I've been in this sort of position since I started my youth team days at Doncaster. Um, and obviously to come into a brand new group where Obviously, like I said, I were, I, I were following your pre-season, signing plays left, right and centre and stuff, big clear out and things like that. I felt like there were a few people in, in, in a similar position to me, but obviously because they've signed on the dotted line, it's, it's almost a thing like I'm a trialist, I want to come in and press and stuff. And it's just obviously get, like getting to know the lads is, 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 a, is a good part of, 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 of uh, being a footballer. And like I said, the boys are absolutely class with me on the trip. And, uh, I shared a room with, with uh, Leon Legg, one of the most experienced footballers in here. So, so yeah, yeah he, he taught me well. And like I said, the training and everything like that and the, the routine we had on that trip were fantastic. And, and yeah, it's been brilliant. You mentioned, obviously, the team. You mentioned Leon Legg, players like that, helping you to bed in with, with that team. It's been a time of change for this club. We've seen a lot of new faces come in. What, what is it like to come in as a new player alongside other other new faces as well. Yeah, I mean, I think you think obviously you have you have stuff in common like not knowing not knowing the lads and stuff. But like I said, when the games keep coming thick and fast, you get to know each other, how they play day in day out and stuff like that. And it all just bonds together. Like I said, uh, obviously it's massive to get three points like for the like for the club, but as a team, it just brings you together and it's together and stuff like that. So obviously pre-season training were were, were were tough, but like I said. Um, as soon as you get the season going and get the three points on board and, and, then, and then you're flying with the, with the group itself really, so it's good. You mentioned you were waiting for some in-house games before you could obviously impress. Are you looking forward to your name appearing on team sheets yeah. rather than trialist? Yeah. That's got to be a weird experience <laughs> when you go, that's, that's me, that's, yeah. that's me. Yeah, if it's trialist A, trialist B, you know, there's obviously a few trialists come and gone and stuff like that. But yeah, to see the name on the, on, on the back of my shirt and stuff like that, and playing in front of the fans are going to be a, a good moment for me and one I'll never forget, obviously. I'm a, I'm, I'm a young lad willing to learn and stuff, and this is only a little a path in my, in, in, in my career. So yeah, hopefully we can get the, get the ball rolling and go from there, really. And speaking of the fans, what can they expect from you in that Vale shirt? They can expect 110% hard work each game I play. As soon as I step across that white line, they know they're going to get the best version of Danny Amos. And like I say, hopefully they, like the fans the fans are adhered to me and stuff like that. And we can go from there, like I say, I'm, I'm a, I'm a really hard-working lad and I'm a good lad as well. I'm sure people from my area will tell you that. I'm sure people from past clubs will tell you that as well. So it's one of those things where I've got to get my head down hard work and I'll show the fans what I'm made of.